Are you looking to explore such a gallery and discover the artworks of new and oftentimes unknown talented artists? Then watch this video for 9 things you need to know before visiting the art gallery in less than 5 minutes. For the best traveling guides and reviews, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every week. If you're visiting London and wondering which activities to do, by the end of this video, I'll invite you to watch my 5 minutes guides playlist so you can start planning your trip. Also, to receive the best discounts and promotions in London for your traveling dates, then make sure to go ahead and obtain your email in the description box below this video. Without further talk, here's 9 things you need to know to help you plan and prepare your visit to the world-renowned Sachi Gallery. Number 1. A Brief History First opened 25 years ago, in the beginning, it was only those who had dedicated interest in contemporary art who visited the gallery to see work created by new artists. The audience, however, built steadily over the years as general awareness and interest in contemporary art has developed both in Britain and abroad. Consequently, in October 2008, they opened their new home in King's Road with a wide space of 70,000 square feet, which is now visited by more than 1.5 million visitors per year. Nowadays, Sachi Gallery is committed to inspire a passion for contemporary art in all audiences. Not to add that the gallery also hosts a bookshop for those loving to connect with like-minded people. Number 2. The Exhibitions and Artists Aiming to provide an innovative platform for contemporary art, the Sachi Gallery is known to present work by largely unseen young and international artists, not only to the general public, but also to the commercial art world. In this effect, the gallery also operates as a platform for young artists to launch their careers, as oftentimes are subsequently offered shows by galleries and museums internationally. Number three, eating and drinking. If following your visit, you end up looking for a place to eat, then make sure to stop at the Gallery Mess, which is a popular dining destination at the Sachi Gallery for its beautiful setting, charming atmosphere, excellent food, and spacious terrace. Also, you can visit one of the many restaurants minutes away or grab a quick coffee and healthy lunch at Eat, only three minutes walks on the main road. Number four, opening times. All year long, the gallery is open seven days a week from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. with last admission at 5.30. However, it is recommended to have a look on their website before visiting as it can be closed from time to time for private events. Also, to ensure the exhibitions are accessible to as many visitors as possible, the gallery is wheelchair accessible to all the floors, which are conveniently equipped with lifts and level access between the galleries. Number five, prices and tickets. Sachi's Gallery's exhibitions used to be all free. Nowadays, the general one remains free, but to visit temporary exhibitions, tickets may vary in between 10 to 20 pounds each. You can easily purchase your ticket online, through their website, or directly at the door on your arrival. Not to mention that members get discounted prices. Number six, how to get there. Located on King's Road in Chelsea, West London, there are many ways to reach the area. Either by underground, where the gallery is three to four minutes walk from Slow and Square Station, which is traveled by the Victoria, District and the Circle Lines. Also, you can simply hop on board of one of London's emblematic red bus or grab a train where the nearest mainline railway station is Victoria, less than a mile by foot from the gallery. Number seven, events. With a capacity of up to 1,500 people, the gallery's magnificent building is ideal for both large and more intimate events and also hosts special exhibitions in the evening, which you can join for a small fee. Number eight, best time to visit. Visiting the gallery late in the afternoon or first when it opens in the morning is best for more quiet time. If you carry large bags, you can happily check it in with the gallery's clock room, which is free. How long you spend at the gallery is up to you, but most visitors find that an hour and a half to be sufficient, even though some people spend up to half a day. Number nine, the shop. If you're looking for an authentic gift for a special someone or simply treat yourself, then make sure to visit their shop where you will find a wide range of books, t-shirts, posters, funny cards, and much more. Now that you know exactly what to expect, before visiting this beautiful gallery and would love to discover more of London's activities and attractions, 
then make sure to keep on watching London's 5 Minutes Guys playlist especially prepared for you. Also, for those traveling to London, make sure to go ahead and obtain your email in the description box below this video to receive the best discounts and promotions for a diversity of activities and restaurants in London for your traveling dates. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, join me on Facebook, Instagram at The Bold Stylist, subscribe for more travel guides, and comment below with helpful if this video helped you. Thanks for watching, keep on traveling, and I will see you guys in my next video.